ladies and gents, it's back. It's back. Geo Detective. Um, it's what you've, a lot of you have been waiting for and requesting for some time now. Uh, and it's been too long. The last one of these I made was probably about six months ago. For those who haven't seen this before, now is your chance to get stuck into this um, because I've been told it's enthralling. The basis of it is I try to correctly locate my fans, uh, people who have sent in a photo of themselves. For example, such classics as Barry Eggington here or Bananas Hippledick. Uh, real names, would you believe it? Now I have done some specials of these, as some of you know. Um, you know, ones that involve sort of dead grandmothers, things like that, for want of a better phrase. I'm still looking for those submissions, okay? So anything that has a real mystery behind it where you don't know where the photo was taken, I'm still looking for those, but I'm not looking for any more of these ones, the normal ones, okay? Because I've just got such a big stockpile of them. I'll let you know if I need any more. Um, so this is the list of the ones I've tackled before, um, many of which were done to the exact point, which I'm quite proud of. Some of them were close. Aaron Amberleaf, not so close. His was tricky, um, and he's not the only one. There are some quite tricky ones in the folder, but today I'm going to do the opposite of a tricky one. I'm going to see how many easy-ish ones I can do today in a set time. Well, I'm going to give myself till midday and it's 8.35 in the morning. I'm not saying they're going to be really easy. You know, this one, for example, looks pretty hard. But what I'm hoping is, is that I can get all six of these in the three hours-ish um, that I'm working with. So it'll be a sort of time trial, basically. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I just thought it might be a nice treat for those of you who have been deprived of these for so long. And also, I might be a bit rusty, so it might be good for me to get back into the flow of things. Talking of which, should we get straight into it? So today, lined up, we have Kyle Kerbertson, we have Lucy Loveloin, Manus Fanus, Matty Melt, Semi, Sammy Seldom Still, and finally, Skip Bell. Those are our six. Why have I chosen six? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I'm hoping that I can fill this section here with purest green. Other notes to say very quickly, please check out the How Not To Travel America trailer if you haven't already. I'll put the link in the description. And also, if you haven't already, check out my Instagram. It's mainly adventure stuff. Uh, there isn't much GeoGuessr or GeoDetective on there. But if you haven't already, if you didn't realise I had Instagram, I now do. Let's get into this. Kyle, we're coming for you. Here he is. Now, I'm working quick here, guys, so I can't sort of just stop and ramble. I'm going to get straight into it, so uh, you, you might be pleased about that. So here we've got what I'm hoping is a famous gazelle statue. We've got America, American Express on his shirt, so that could be a sort of soccer shirt. Um, but he could be from anywhere in the States. And this is the Rockies, surely. Unless it's in Italy or something. I mean, who knows? It could be. How many large folks do we have? They're a bit overweight. Not too many. Not too many. Kyle himself is pretty athletic. It's hard to say for sure what country we're in. Um, I don't think that's the Alps, though. I think that's the Rockies. So I'm, I'm just going to go straight into Google, guys. Google is our friend. And as I say, we're trying to make light work of these today. Are we recording? That could help. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Right. Gazelle statue Rockies. Rocky Mountains. Gazelle. So it might not be a gazelle, you see. So got to bear that in mind. And nothing has come up so far. So is that a gazelle? So let, let's find out what animal that is. Gazelle statue, and then we'll see if it resembles it. Bit of a weird way to do it. Hmm. Not sure that's a gazelle. Tell you what I'll do. 
Because whatever that is will be that if it's an Ibex statue, then that will produce Google search results. So types of gazelle family. It's probably not a gazelle, is it? Types of gazelle in North America. Pronghorn. Okay, what's a pronghorn? No, that's not it. The statue is the answer here. Thompson's gazelle. Types of antelope. Impala. Maybe it's a, maybe it's not in the antelope family. Maybe it's sort of horned deer, North America. Ibex. Is it an ibex? No, it's definitely not an ibex. Could be some sort of mountain goat. Jesus. Fucking hell, that is not what we're after. <laughs> God, we're going right back to sort of six-year-old explanation. Mammal, big horns, America. First one not going well. We are getting further and further from the animal in question here. I'm looking at mammals found in the Rocky Mountains. I hope that is the Rocky Mountains. If that's the Himalayas or something, we're fucked. We won't even get past the first one. Okay, I'm going back to antelope family. That might be it. Ibex statue. So that is an Ibex. Jasna Lake, Slovenia. That's definitely it, isn't it? That is Slovenia, guys. Not, not America. So it was that American Express thing that... Um, threw me off. I said it didn't look like the Alps, but I guess that's very Southern Alps. But that's it. That is definitely it. So Lake Yasna. Let's just confirm Capricorn statue. Yasna Lake. Yeah, that's definitely the rock. So in we go. We get onto Google Earth. This is where we put the marker down. Ibex. Was it actually an Ibex? There's a few saying Ibex. A few saying Mountain Goat. Interestingly, I presume that's near Lake Bled, right up in the Alps, yeah. I think we're over this side, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Let's see if we can put the man down. Ah, uh, yeah, let's put him down on the road first, and then we should be able to see the goat from here. There it is. Yeah, big mountains in, in the very north of Slovenia. Anyway, let's get that marker down, because it's going to be... We can see um, where it is. And whoever took this was pretty damn close to it. So the first marker can go down in about 10 minutes of searching. That's a good start. Well, it was rocky. No pun intended. It was a rocky start. Uh, well, it wasn't. That was the problem. Um, so who is this? Kyle Kerbertson. There you go. That is... We don't need to vet that. That is correct within 25 meters, which is sort of my parameter. Spin around and off we go. Next one. Who is it? It's Lucy Loveloin. And this is going to be one of the easiest ones, I think, because we, I mean, this is almost, these are a big departure from the tricky ones that I usually like to do. So if you're new to this, they're usually a lot harder. They, they sometimes take me days to figure out and some real juicy detective work. This is this is very different. Um, I mean, we can literally see Kensington Place. Although, I do think that one is gonna be hard. <laughs> I will say that. I hope that's not one of those belling cat child abuse photos. Uh, probably not, they've got ice creams. They're, they're all right, they're happy. Um, right, here we go. So Kensington Place, I imagine this is. Uh, let's get right in there, into London. You never know. There might be hurdles. Kensington Place, London. This will be a quick one. There's no two ways about it. Here we go. That looks about right. Got flats down there. Now that, that should be... Is that to the south or to the north? We'll soon find out. Just trying to see if I can see those flats. 
Let's get the man down. Okay, we're not there. Ooh. That doesn't feel right. The thing is, that's quite a big hill in the background. I wonder if this is a sort of trick, a trick one. Is it Brighton? What does that say? The something tavern, the Brigadier. I just can't read that. That's too blurred. Precious metal. There's something about that hill there that seems too big a hill to be in London. So I'm thinking this might not be as straightforward as we, as I initially thought. Also, that that doesn't have the usual. You usually have these. W eight. I mean, it, it's equally as bougie looking. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to think Brighton for some reason now. Okay, Kensington. Pl I'll, I'll try Kensington Place, Brighton. There is one apparently. Here we are. Flying down south to Brighton. Look, this could be it. I'll explain briefly why I thought Brighton in a moment. This might be wrong. I don't know. Oh, God. I don't know about this either. Well, there's no hill in the background. Oh, there is a hill that way. We do have a block of flats down there, but I don't think it's... It does look bloody similar, that block of flats. Interesting. Okay, if we are on here, we're further back. We're further down here. Now, look at that. There are some serious similarities there. It's like we're near, but at a slightly different angle. Oh, wait, that is right. This one is Kensington Place, not the... Okay, it's the perpendicular road to it, so we're here. Yep, that's it. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Nice little area this is. Yep, we can see the Bashar Bish. I thought the road, you know, carried on to our right, but it doesn't. It stops. It's like a curve. Uh, and yet, yeah, those are the right block of flats, but from a different angle. And that explains everything. And it is the Brighton Tavern. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what subliminally made me think Brighton, but. I think there was more to it than that. She looks very Brighton for a start. This woman here is, is just exhumes Brighton. Um, there's a lot of sort of bougie kind of, uh, you know, worldly shops, boutiques. There are flats, there are hills, um, and the buildings just look pretty Brighton-y. I mean, I've been there a couple of times. So, and Kensington Place, I don't know, it all seemed, and this, this whole thing, would you get that in the middle of London? Maybe, maybe on a Sunday. Um, anyway, let's get back into here and we can pretty confidently put our second marker down. Lucy Loveloin, great name. I envy people with names like that, I really do. Yes, yeah, so there we are. Middle of Brighton, near the train station. Beautiful. Uh, that is two down in less than half an hour. So I'm kind of hoping in a way that this one, this next one, which I'm starting right now, you know, will slow me down considerably. And I'm sure you are too. This one was sent in by Manus Fanus, who hopefully doesn't work for Bellingcat. And yeah, it's... Two children happily playing with an ice cream uh, on the balcony or looking out the window. And 
we need these clues in the background. Let's have a look at the language here. Papua. Papua Barat. Is that Papua as in Papua New Guinea? As in the island that that's on? I keep going to fold the map out as if I'm playing GeoGuessr. Um, so Papua, obviously, if I just show you on the map, Papua is, is, there you go, it's not just Papua New Guinea, it's shared with Indonesia, so this could be Indonesia. Let's get back to it. So Papua Barat, um, this is a good sign, Makota Pratama. I mean, that probably won't allude to the town, but it could do. And then we've got this, Terima Pen, Pendaftra, Pendaftaran, kind of sounds Welsh or Cornish. Chip all operator, some weird 90s technology going on there. Jaya Fashion, Studio Photo, I think, oh, and then we've got over here, Segita Furniture, it's Telegraph, something, something, Telegraph. There's a bit of text down here, but it's just snippets. It's just snippets, guys. So, and that could be a flag. That could be the Indonesian flag. We've got a couple of um, Christian crosses littered about. Right, I'm going to hope now, because I may have been too ambitious with this, I'm going to get into Papua and search for Papua Barat. That's the obvious thing to do. Papua Barat, Indonesia. Right, does that mean West Papua? Yeah. Look at that. That is West Papua. So, uh, we know we're there. And that is about it. So, this, this could be a hard one. But I can Google these businesses, of course. I don't know why these things slip my mind. So, yeah, this shouldn't be too hard then. CV Markota. Well, it's it's come up there, but it's saying Central Java. So that's a big company. Um, so I'll type it in anyway and see if this branch comes up. Papua Barat. This might be too specific. Where's that? Yeah, that's in Java. Uh, studio photo we'll try that studio photo unless I can search this area studio photo let's try that okay we've got a couple of things I can actually see studio photo I mean it's on the right it's on the correct side of the road I think but there's no street view there. That is, that can't be right. We're not by the sea. Nah, no way. There's mountains. Looks like it says Jazioba. Could that say Girona? My Girona. No, there's no mountains there. There's nothing there. <laughs> Yes. That's it. That is the sign we can see. That there. Mega loop. Underneath. That is it. So. If that is that one. And that is definitely over the road. Right. You can see that woman. Jaywalking. Right, which means that we, if that is indeed the correct spot, we are somewhere around here. But how far, how far is that potentially? Which garden would that put us in? How close to the road are we? We're right next to it. And it could have changed, but let's draw a little line. It looks like they're there. Looks like they're in this block here, actually. Yeah, that's changed. The imagery has indeed changed. That's saying it's from 2022. But it's, yeah, if that's fell into disrepair, 
then we're most likely in this one. Not a fat lot adds up from the photo. Oh, that's a good one. That's that. And there's the, yeah, we're, we're definitely in the right place. Yeah, it's been a long old road. It's not like in a Western country where every shop will be on there and the photos are all in the right place uh, and so on and so on. So it has taken me a little longer than than thought. Even the imagery there uh, differs to that one, but that's that. That is the green building and the, the shop is over there. So without any further ado, oh, I'm so glad I got that. I am so glad I got that. Manus, thank you for that submission. That was a tricky one. It's not a country that uh, is easy to work with because no street view. That tested me, um, but we have to move on. That's three out of three. I'm hoping that was the bump and that we can get this one fairly quick. Let's have a look. This is sent in by Matty Melt. Holtz, that is a German word meaning firewood, I think. It's an interesting thing in the reflection there. It's backwards. W, that's tricky. That's a, really, that's a good clue. I don't know if you meant that, uh, Matty, but he's on a lime scooter. I think we're in Germany or Austria. Here we go. Something, something, parking plats. Free. Uh, this is all German words. Best in parking. Got a lot of German cars here. If you if you count the Ford, which is made in Germany, and it's W U W U with is that Würzburg? Vienna. Ah, it's Vienna, of course. I was thinking Vienna, partly because it does look like an A there. Can you see it right in the corner? Can't really see. It. I'm being blinded by my light. Uh, but yeah, Vienne. So this isn't a hard one, Matty. Really, careless boy. Uh, no, um, we've still got to find it. We and it might not be easy. So let's get into the map. Vienna parking plats. Let's have a look because I think that it's beginning with D, isn't it? Can't find one beginning with D just yet. But I'm sure it'll come. Best in parking. That is that is Vienna. If we type in best in parking, what about that? Mind you, there are quite a few. You little bugger. How did I know this would happen? And now I'm forgetting which ones I've looked at. Oh, right, Matty. What are we going to do here then? What are we going to do here? <laughs> going to have to look at other clues now. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something I've never done before. And I'm going to flip that. Is that going to work? Abba, Abba's Gefahren, it's winter day, it's something to do with renting bikes, is it? Something to do with it. And that's just the headquarters of it. That didn't lead anywhere, sadly. Oh, did you mean to do this, Matty? To pick a big city and make me think it was going to be easy? Probably should be easy, shouldn't it? Arag, Arag. Let's try that, because honestly, I don't know what else to try at the moment. That could work. Parking as well. Is that it? Oh, I think it is, you know. You can see a slither of that building. And obviously, we've got that. Yeah, that's it. That is it. We've got it from Arag in the end. And that 
Here's what we could see in the reflection, which is a, you know, an advertising thing that's changed. Wasn't I here before? I did look there before. That is so annoying. Jesus, I need to. I'm glad I did the easy ones today because I really need to get my uh, head back into this game. Never mind though, we're on four and we are on course to do the final two before 12. Just because I feel like it, I'm going to fill in these and just, you know, give me a little bit of encouragement. There we go. Exactamundo. Oh, no, we didn't do Ian Clutterbuck. He's one of the hard ones. Uh, so, still standing is Sammy Seldom Still. <laughs> Sammy Seldom Still likes to move around, a fidgeter. And Skip Bell. I had a mate we used to call Skip Bell in school, actually. Don't think he washed his willy enough. Um, right, let's move on to Sammy Seldom Still then, shall we? This, I believe, is a female. I don't know why I'm bothering to go down that avenue. Let's go down this avenue instead. That is actually a really nice avenue. And I would say, looking at this, this is going to be pretty... I'm not going to say that I'm going to get it really quickly, but it's very, very gettable uh, because of the lay of the land, this distinctive flat peninsula surrounded by mountains, the coastal feature of it, and this bridge. Um, and also, it's obviously New Zealand or Australia. And hopefully we can cement that by looking at which cars are driving. No, maybe not. Um, oh, no, they're all parked up. Uh, the sun is... It's not something that we can use that much. Uh, we can use it a bit. This looks like morning rather than anything. I don't quite know why. So let's say it's 10 a.m. That would mean that the sun would sort of be in a north easterly position. That would be south, roughly. Yeah. So we can say roughly that's... We're looking south in general, maybe. I don't know, I might have... I might have totally got that wrong. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but I didn't put the marker down. Matty Melt. Thank you, Matty, by the way. I'm just going to adjust that slightly to there. Um, can't be asked to scroll to New Zealand. Taking the lazy route to New Zealand. And here we go. We're on the coast of New Zealand. Um, how warm does it look? I would say... I. I would say in the north, and that would correlate with looking in the south. I don't think this is going to take us too long. There's a lot of inlets up here. I hope my prediction about the south thing is correct. But really, this is just a case of scouring the coast. And I'm just going to put it out there. I don't think this is going to take me too long. And I know I'm opening myself up for embarrassment by saying that. If we're looking south, then that should be the east coast, presuming the sea is on this left side, to the left of the, yeah, well, yeah, because the waves are coming in. So that really should be over here, if anything. So here I go, I am scanning the east coast. Lending. How about that? Oh, I would say that that is it. Oh, what is it? Yeah, I think so. It's not a bridge though. Uh, it's a pier. We've got the spit of sand. The tide though is out at this point whereas in the photo it's more in but look at the shape of that that we have and then there's 
Is that the docks over there? Which is there. Can't really see it on the photo. Um, but yeah, that's all. And then look at the avenue. And the car park. I mean, it's it's it. But that that's high up. That is way up. That's up here. Mount Paku. Yeah, we're definitely at Mount Paku Summit. Um, can we get the little man down? Yes. We indeed can. And there we go. A headless kiwi. Yeah, that is it. I mean, yeah, I can literally see the the exact rock that Sammy positioned herself on for the photo. And what a good photo it is as well. Tied in, nice blue skies. Um, whereas on the imagery here, it's just looking a bit drab, isn't it? Time is a factor, so I'm going to put Sammy's pin down. Was it Sammy Seldom still? Yes. Uh, thank you for staying still for the duration of that photo. You can bugger off now. Thank you. Last one, Skip Bell. And this is why I thought that this one would be doable potentially because two bridges, yes, I believe it's the Grand Canyon. It's got to be the Grand Canyon, which is huge. And if it didn't have this two bridges thing on, I would say that this would be tricky and potentially too tricky for me to do because it's all going to look so samey. Um, not in a bad way. I'm sure it's beautiful. Never been. But two bridges. We can literally just Google. We can Google that. Two bridges. Grand Canyon. Um, let's get some photos of it up first. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is insane. I've never heard of that. So let's get into Google Earth then and type in two bridges. Do not fear. Like this, this, this seems like it's very easy, but he might be quite far from the two bridges. This is my worry. Well, that doesn't help. Um, that hasn't put us in the, in the right place. Are we even at the Grand Canyon there? Yeah, we are. Is that right? There's the rim trail. So this is a good spot then. So Bryce Canyon, this is where a lot of people go to watch sun rise. But as for two bridges, can't see it. See, maybe what I was looking at here isn't, isn't two bridges. Right, that's called Navajo Bridge. So is that anywhere near Bryce where we just were? That's in a different state, that's in Arizona. So it's not too far, but there seems to be two different things going on here. And judging by this, I would say that he's at the other one. Because if you look at these photos, where were they? That looks very orange and green, um, if you like. So where was that taken? Navajo Loop Trail. Let's type that in on Google Earth. And that is near Bryce. So that makes sense. Yeah, I reckon he's around here, man. So if we find a cluster of photos. Oh, look how 3D it is. We might even be able to see the two bridges. I can't really see a specific cluster of photos. Oh. There. Thor's hammer. Jesus, that looks like it's ready to drop. Ha, <laughs> Thor's hammer. Cool. Yeah, I'm seeing photos of two bridges. I think that's them. Can you see them? I don't think it's as famous as... Yeah, there they are. Right, so anyway, we found that so we know it's nearby. So he will be up there somewhere. That's okay. This is really good. We can draw lines on this. You know, I like to draw straight lines. We can draw one from that point to that point. Um, but I don't think this will be too hard. I think I think we can probably put the man down around here somewhere. 
He's, he's, there's a big rock looming over his head. He's almost in the shadow of it. Maybe we can see that from here. Two bridges is to his left. So that, that marker is basically on two bridges. So that's okay. I would say he's by one of these things. And we can put the man down. That's useful. I don't think that's quite placed in the right spot. We need to find something that, where there's almost a sheer drop. Because if you look, he's he's on that. And there's a... Yeah, it just looks like a sheer drop to me down there. Ah, uh, literally, I can see these now. I can see that, that, and then that. The three stages of it he's somewhere around there let's just try and get everything in oh my god i don't think we're going to be able to get everything in here okay ignore the spider web you've got that that and that which you can kind of you can definitely see the lower two bits of it you can see that big thing on the distance which is there uh, which looks kind of correlates with that but it's these things here that we that we're looking at and um, we are literally well we're in space apparently no we we are about there oh just a matter of finding the exact spot surely he's there then because that that would be the shadow this rock here this exact rock that's that. You can even see the overhang of it there, look. See how it just disappears? You can see that there, kind of, which is mad. <laughs> this is why I love this. But I just can't see. You can see that tree there, although it's got no leaves on it. But yeah, that would make sense. Bit of a drop. Just can't really see the, the banister anyone's photo has the banister on then we can just cement it really I can sort of see something there so I think it's there and I think actually you can sort of see it in the imagery there look see the lines there yeah that is it isn't it so I'm pretty happy with that guys I don't think I need to go into too much more detail. I think I, I'm just gonna put it down. Oh, look, you can, you can see it from above, clearly. There it is, you can't see the sign, uh, but that's it, I can put the marker down now. And that is Mr. Skip Bell. That'll do me. That is six done in two and a half hours. Job done, job well done. Well, maybe not but I can definitely fill those in. Exact, all six of them. Now I knew they'd be fairly easy, um, but I think I needed that. I needed to just whack a few out, because uh, they've got to be done at some point anyway, so why not just bunch all the easier ones together? Although Manus Fanus wasn't easy, that was not easy. I've definitely done harder though, it has to be said. Uh, but yeah, I just really enjoyed whacking those out. Hope you did too. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. Could I have done anything easier? I know I could have done. Uh, it's just a matter of what. And let me know if you want to see more of these, harder ones, um, or the specials. I have a few specials lined up. Um, let me know what you want to see, geodetective-wise, because you are the ones who have been starved of this for, for quite some time. Just because I've been so busy on adventures, editing, and various other things, they do take a, a fair while to edit. Uh, yeah, so thanks for your patience, everyone, and thanks for watching tonight. See you soon.